Welcome back to the shed. Just going to do a quick answer to a comment we got this morning. So today is Saturday the 14th and we released the video on folding this pan up for the tailgate today and got a comment through pretty early in the piece from I think CG recommended. I'll just read out the comment and then we'll respond to that. This is a good comment. This is what I like. Okay, yep, CG recommended. I'm a newbie to the sheet metal work and trying to learn. Wouldn't it have been easier to do the folds in the material before anything else to provide the sheet some strength when you cut the number plate hole and folded the edges? Okay, I will do this as a video because it's a bit in depth to sort of go about ins and outs and things like that. Whenever I do any unique piece, and like I've made thousands of them, I will always make it three or four times in my mind with doing different sequences first. What you suggest, I considered and I threw the idea away and I'll tell you why. If we fold up the pan first, so we've got basically these outside edges folded and we've got the middle piece to do. Yes, it would add great strength to these edges here and we could do these folds here quite well. It wouldn't add any great strength to this area in here and when we start folding these corners and making these radius corners we'd be loading a lot of stress into the panel. We would wind up with ripples in these areas here. You could stay in control of that, you could keep it out, you could keep it flat and you'd get away with that. Then the next problem comes in where we got this fold off this piece of material back to exactly the same height all the way around by grinding around it with our hammer form panel, we wouldn't have been able to do that. Like we wouldn't have been able to pack it up. Like we could have sat something in there and got it, but you wouldn't have got it as nice. You wouldn't have got this edge in here. But the big problem, and this is the main reason why I excluded it, was once we start adding heat into here by welding it, we're gonna wind up with a ripple in these panels here that would require heat shrinking to sort it out. Pat yourself on the back, you're thinking like a metal shaper, but it's always a case of whenever you make any sort of unique patch panel piece, whatever, custom part, you've always got to think of what do I do first, what is the best way, and if I do this first, what complications will I have for other things along the way. So I did it this way, and as I've said through the previous videos, a couple of things I would have done differently if I was just doing it by myself without making a video about it, because a few of the things I wanted to share with you guys, and leave it in a way that you could tackle it at home with a minimum of fuss, and I think this is the easiest way. Certainly, other people would go about it differently, but for me, going through it time after time. This is what I came up with and it worked. Thanks for watching guys and a big thank you to everyone that leaves comments. Love your comments, read them all and we try and respond to as many as we possibly can. Stay safe, talk to you soon.